ODM's The Gentle Rat sent us in this replay with John FB, who has recently returned from a hiatus. Looks like he's going to try out the new meta of Demons of Chaos actually being not trash. So this is a funky build. The Triple Fiends is solid, but the 10 Horrors is interesting. I don't necessarily disagree with it. It can be pretty decent versus Gaven. It's just interesting. So for the Demons, since we were already talking about them, five Pink Horrors of Zinch, five Blue Horrors, Triple Fiends, the Hounds of the Blood Hunt, and then we do have a Herald of Zinch of Zinch with Pink and Blue Fires. For the Skaven side... Bunch of the 360 shooters. Gutter Runners, two with poison, two without. No, three with poison, one without. Recently got some cost reductions. They were already a solid unit, so that's going to be really good. The only thing about it is their physical resistance is literally useless in this matchup, but they're still pretty good even without it. For the front line, we have Skaven Slaves, Skaven Slave Spears, some Council Guard, and another Storm Vermin Halberd. It gets Zap Zap, four Rat Ogres, and a Grey Seer of Ruin. Dreaded 13th, Howling Warp Gale, and Warp Lightning. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Gutter Runner's getting into a bit of a, a bit of a skirmish fight, but the Horrors of Zinch will win that. Since they have more models, do more damage, bypass physical resistance, and they have those barriers to prevent the first volleys from doing very much. Gutter Runners are just gonna fall back. Gutter Runners are nice in the patchup against like fiends or flyers of any kind. They really don't want to be skirmishing with blue and pink horrors. Skaven, realizing all the enemy infantry is hybrid ranged, do realize they need to get aggressive and fast. And without any poison wing globes, it'll actually take them a decently long time to kill these blue horrors, so in a bit of trouble. As they get Zap Zap trying to snipe out the Herald of Zinch, but the Herald of Zinch is a squirrely little guy. On his disc mount, he's so teeny tiny, hell, the disc is even invisible right now, but he's so teeny tiny that a lot of the, the warp shots will just miss. Brad is going to pile into the blue horrors, should get some decent damage down. They are getting shot quite a lot. And over here, we already have some good damage coming in on the blue horrors, but in comes a rear charge from the fiends. Looks like they're hunting for the rat ogres primarily. Dive in on those guys. Some spears get over here to help out. There's a dreaded 13th onto some pink horrors, takes them down to half HP. The council guard are also getting in there as blue fire hits a lot of the rat ogres. Pink Horrors, Blue Horrors, everybody's firing in the Rat Ogres with their low armor and very tall models. Not going to enjoy those shots as much as the Fiends continue to move in. Now the Demons are suffering from some Demonic Instability Crumbling. We've already seen two different Horror units fade away. Another one's getting awfully close as the Herald of Zinch gets netted in place by Howling Warp Gale. It is Overcast, which... We have some gutter runners trying to punish that. Okay, good. I was worried that they just did an overcast net without anything to actually follow up on that. One fiend is at half HP, another one's full HP, and how is this flank doing? Over half, and then a full health brutes of the, the blood hunt. How's the blood hunt? I'm getting a little concerned here that the Skaven are running out of juice, but that net, plus warp stone scroll, plus warp lightning cannon, plus four gutter runners all firing at the Herald of Zinch. Kills him off, and that is huge for the Skaven to stay in a good position this game. You can see without the, the demonic leadership, we're losing some blue horrors. Another pink horror is about to demonic instability crumble as well. Plus, there's no spells coming in. That is huge for the Skaven. But I'm still thinking they're not out of the woods just yet. They're losing so much of their front line and their DPS. Their rat ogres are tattered. Their gutter runners are getting pushed away, and the hounds of the blood hunt are just running around and feasting. So it can be a tough time for the Skaven. A couple things they have going for them is they still have a Council Guard and another Storm Vermin Halberd full HP, and when the enemy only has really fiends left, that should be pretty easy uh, for the Council Guard to deal with. I guess the demons have got to secure these last pink horrors that are still alive so that they can shoot at the Council Guard without having to just charge into them. Skaven Slaves thinking about routing soon. This is the Demons of Chaos, not really Slanesh, so running down routing units doesn't get you very much since your Lord is dead. Your Lord dealing damage is the only way to get army passive for the demons. Rat Ogre's getting low, Council Guard is just fine, Grace here is just fine. It gets Zap Zap still firing, still has 12 shots left too, so it's not like it's even running out of ammo, to be fair. It'll be just fine. As the Pink Horrors look to shoot at the Rat Ogres. And Fiends will peel off the Skaven Slave so that the Pink Horrors can just focus on shooting. Nice stuff here from John. Ooh, I like that too. Just getting your Pink Horrors range and it gets Zap Zap, since you can't fight them in melee due to the halberds you could just shoot the cannons themselves and a couple of volleys from pink horse will start killing off the actual cannon models and then you're just good to go 
Hounds of the Blood Hunt still trying to hunt down gutter runners in the distance who are rallying due to the unholy clamor of the Gracier's Bell. Another fiends are trying to rally, but they're running away from gutter runners. Looks like the fiends are just having a hard time actually truly peeling off the Skaven from all this stuff. Pick his zap zaps down to three models. They lose another one down to just two. Soon that unit won't be all that important as the fiends take a lot of damage. Get Zap Zap. Last model. Pink Horrors were trying to finish it off. Now they're going to away. Oof. There's a last Dreaded 13th, the second one from the Gracier, but it will collapse a Fiend. It looks like it'll get another one and a Pink Horror, so very high value usage of the Dreaded 13th. Demons of Chaos falling so far behind the balance of power, it looks like they're going to army loss any second now, especially as that Pink Horror fades away. That might just do it. There it is. And the Skaven stand triumphant. That Lord Snipe was brutal. Skaven Slaves held and did okay. Stormbringer Halberds held and did okay. Gutter Runners did fine. Browderers did fine. Nicket Zap Zap did pretty darn well. For John F. B., his Lord got sniped, but aside from that, Blue Horrors did fine. Pink Horrors did fine overall. One did great, but the others did eh. Fiends struggled a bit. And the Hounds of the Blood Hunt also struggle a bit. I feel like Fiends aren't that good into Skaven specifically, but they are good in general. GG. Rawr. Subscribe, yes, yes.